Number one then, the first question in the 2018 SQA Higher Maths Paper 1, three marks, lines in a triangle, specifically just one line here. You're given this triangle, PQR, there are the coordinates of the vertices, you have to find the equation of the median for three marks. And in case you didn't know or remember what a median was, it draws it for you. There it is there, going from a vertex to the middle of the opposite side, shown by those equal marks. That shows it's being bisected. This point's in the middle. Well, it's a line. To get the equation of a line, you need two things. A point on it, got that already, and its gradient. How much does it rise for every step along? Well, you can get that if you know another point on it, and you will in this case because you'll know this midpoint. It'll give it a name M. So that'll be the first part. What's the midpoint of PQ, which I'm just going to call M for future reference? Well, if it's really obvious what's halfway between the coordinates, you could just state it like here. What's halfway between 4 and 0? That's obviously 2. If you're not so sure, then you can just take the average of them. So what about the average of the x's? Negative 2 and 4. Negative 2 plus 4, add them and half it, and I'll just do the same the other one. The y-coordinates, 4 and 0, half it. Do that if you like, or just state it, because there's only the one mark for this. Well, that comes to 2 divided by 2 is 1. That's 4 divided by 2 is 2. So stating the midpoint is 1, 2 gets the first mark. Now you need the gradient. So what's the gradient of this line then? Which I'm going to call Rm because I took the trouble of giving it a name. Well, it's the difference in the y-coordinates over the difference in the x-coordinates. Or you could write y2 minus y1, meaning the difference in the y-coordinates, and over x2 minus x1 for the difference in the x-coordinates. Or even, because it's only just for the one mark, go straight in with the coordinates. And make sure you use the right points. So these two points, don't let these two catch your eye. So it's the difference in these two. Difference in the y's first. 6 and 2. y2 take away y1. Difference in the y-coordinates. Difference in x is in the same order. This take away that. This take away that. 3 take away 1. Which gives you 4 over 2. Meaning that the gradient of that line, that median, that line that goes to the middle, is going to be 2. That's the second mark. Then, last part, so what's the equation of the line itself? Well, y minus b equals mx minus a, because there's nothing special about that line. You don't know where it cuts the y-axis, and it's not horizontal or vertical, so I'll just have to use the full equation. Sometimes it might put a little pair of inverted commas there, just to show that's the form I'm using, because I've not mentioned what those a's and b's refer to specifically, but we know what they are. It's y minus the y-coordinate. You can pick either point. I'll just take the original one. y minus the y-coordinate is the gradient, which was 2 times x minus the x-coordinate, no fractions, very nice, just multiply that out. 2x minus 6, oh look, plus 6. So it just ends up as y equals 2x. Couldn't be nicer. Now you can write it in any form you like, you just have to make sure you don't have two constants left lying about that could have been combined into a single one. So you could have written y minus 2x equals 0, or 2x minus y equals 0.